What's good? What's going on? I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas and a Merry Christmas with their families. Once again, welcome in. Welcome to another episode of the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast coming to you via the YouTube Airways. I'm your host and the man behind the mic, KSAP. And today, man, we got a great show lined up for you on the day after Christmas. But when you come across this video, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button, share the video out, post your comments, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to the channel and this is your first time coming across the platform, hit the subscribe button, post your comments, share the video out and give it a thumbs up. I see everybody in the comment section, hashtag salute. And you know what my mantra is, tell a friend to tell a friend. It might not be for you, but it might be for them. What a day show, man. Deion Sanders and the Colorado Buffaloes had struck gold again on Christmas Day. Got themselves a wonderful Christmas gift. Um, they got the transfer out of Florida State, the six foot one, 244 pound run stopper, linebacker DJ Lundy. Um, Deion Sanders and the Colorado Buffaloes, man, they've been working hard, man, and they didn't take no days off, man, no days off. They was working hard on Christmas and was able to get DJ Lundy committed and actually signed. So that has bolstered up the defensive side of the ball at the linebacker position. You know, that was one of the weak spots because the linebacking core, you know, really couldn't fill the gaps to, and, and be a good run stopper. But, you know, DJ Lundy, he fills that void. Now, he played four years at Florida State. Um, DJ Lundy, he's a impact player, man. Um, he has helped Florida State to an undefeated, undefeated season this year. And, you know, he's doing big things out there in Florida State. But now he's getting his fifth year of eligibility with the Colorado Buffaloes. You know, he got that extra year of eligibility because of the COVID year. But DJ Lundy is something that um, the Colorado Buffaloes need. DJ Lundy, man, he's going to be a great get for him. You know, the Florida State linebacker DJ Lundy headed to play for the Colorado Buffaloes in 2024. You know, Deion, Coach Prime Sanders and his staff has helped deliver the holiday present to the Buffs Nation on Monday. The Buffaloes have added an experienced, proven player at the position of need. Linebacker DJ Lundy plans to transfer to Colorado in the 2024 season after four years at Florida State. During that run in Tallahassee, the six foot one, 244 pound Lundy, he racked up 170 tackles, 14 for loss, two and a half sacks, seven pass breakups, and one forced fumble and one fumble recovery. He also was used in situational offense where he scored two rushing touchdowns and one receiving score. Um, also, according to the Pro Football Focus, Lundy played 403 defensive snaps in 2023 graded out at 78.2 overall which was one of the top six among the Seminoles um, defenders that helped the team to an undefeated record the prior year in 2022 Lundy graded out at 74.6 by P PFF for perspective only Travis Hunter his teammate now a 74.8 graded out better than that on the Colorado defense this past season Lundy saw action in 42 contests, which the Seminoles will have one year of eligibility remaining to compete with the Buffaloes. According, originally from Ocala, Georgia, Lundy helped lead Irwin County to a 13-0 record at two state, 2A state championship as a senior. He was named as the region's top defensive player after helping the Indians defense that allowed only 5.4 points per game. Including, this, including seven shutouts. You know, Lundy also helped the Irwin County to a state title during his sophomore campaign, and he won three straight state wrestling championships and finished 2019 with the perfect 36 and 0 record. So, man, I'm telling you, Deion Sanders is still working during the Christmas holidays, man, and he's doing big things, man. And a lot of people, you know, they say that, you know, Colorado is, you know, overhauling that roster, man. Much needed, you know, positional players, man. They got skilled players. Like I mentioned, they got a backup quarterback. They got some new wide receivers coming in. But the biggest thing is that offensive line so they can hold Shador Sanders upright. And that big fish that they landed was Jordan Seaton, man. So we everybody got high hopes on Jordan Seaton. 
And I just hope the guy from IMG Academy pans out to be, you know, the big talk that he is, man. Um, you know, he got a lot of upside, man. He's a big guy, got a seven foot one wingspan. But like I said, Colorado is doing some major things, man, on the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball. So it's going to be interesting on how this season is going to, you know, come to fruition in 2024. But everything that Colorado was doing in the transport portal and getting guys to commit. And like Dion said, man, there was a lot of guys that jumped in the transfer portal that was from Colorado that, you know, Dion made mention um, that we really need them. Um, so now everything is working out in his favor. Um, Dion has a lot to say. Like he said, you know, if he had an undefeated season and he was in that position of Florida State, do you think they would keep him out of the playoffs? He said he was must-see TV. He said with the guys he got and the coaching staff that he got, must-see must see TV, and you can't leave somebody out like that. But, you know, I'm excited for what this um, upcoming season is going to be for the Colorado Buffaloes, man. Um they still working behind closed doors, man. They still getting all these commits to come in and these guys sign. I know they've signed over 18 new recruits, man. So that team is going to look vastly different next year, man. That whole situation is going to be different, man. And they're going to be able to compete with some of these high ranked teams, man. They're going to be able to compete with some of these national high power teams, man. So all like I've always said, man, you give Shador Sanders some time back there in the pocket, he'll pick you apart, man, because he's on time and on target, man. It's just the fact that, you know, with that pass rush that other teams was putting on him because of the offensive line couldn't hold up, man. It's like Shador was always on his back, but he was making do with what he had, man. But we saw a glimpse of what Shador Sanders in that Colorado offense can be when you give him time, man, with the skilled players that he has. It's going to be it's going to be one interesting ride this year, man. And, you know, the lights of Omari I. Miller, the breakout receiver, you still got Travis Hunter. Then you got some receivers that came in. You got a running back that came in. And like I said, more importantly, is that offensive line, man. So Deion Sanders is still working behind closed doors, man. And it's kind of crazy, man. Deion said, man, you know, we coming, but they here now. So a lot of people didn't believe in him. A lot of people said that, you know, he was just – Talking a lot of smoke, man, but Deion Sanders, he's doing great things, man. And like I said, you know, on the defensive side of the ball with that linebacker and core now, um, plus you got Warren Sapp coming in, you know, Phil Ledhold, man, for that offensive line, Warren Sapp for the defensive side of the ball, the defensive line. Man, it's, it's going to be interesting, man. So it, I'm going to be very interested on to see how teams are going to compete with Colorado this year. You know, it ain't just now talking they got the pieces to back it up they just gotta get in practice put everything together man but i think everything will bode well for colorado man there's other teams out there that made major moves as well so college football is gonna be real excited again in, in 2024 like i said all the colorado home games is already sold out and like did last year when it was a national spectacle all the revenue that Colorado and Boulder, the city of Boulder generated off of the impact of the Colorado Buffaloes, man, was a tremendous impact financially. So a lot of people gain financial reward for the upcoming season that Colorado had last year. Now they're going to ben benefit even more this year because, like I said, all the home games are sold out, you know, restaurants. You know, the establishments are making money. So it's exciting times out there in Colorado, man. But, you know, like I said, man, the thing about it is, you know, Deion Sanders, he's not done, man. He's still working. He's still working this transfer portal, man. He's getting guys to buy in. Actually, he's getting a lot of guys to buy in, man. And shout out to Well Off Media. Shout out to Well Off Media for giving everybody the content on the inside footage on what's going on with these recruits and how they linking up and just dropping, you know, gems for people to see. Like I said, Well Off Media is run by Deion Sanders, um, Oldest son, Dion Jr., man, does a great job giving you footage on, you know, the locker room experience, on-field experience, in the day in the life of Shador and Shiloh, and he does a great job. So y'all go check off Well Off Media, man. Shout out to Well Off Media. But guys, let me know what y'all think about what Dion's doing in this transfer portal and getting the guys to commit. Like I said, he landed the big fish, um, DJ Lundy, on Christmas. And guys, let me know how you, how, what you guys think.
But this is going to wrap up another episode of the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast, man. I'm your host, the man behind the mic, K. Sap. We're going to catch you on the next one. Deuces. Thanks for listening to the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share on all major platforms. Another one.